Hello everybody, today we're going to be taking a look at WebSim.ai, which is a really, really cool tool that builds web applications and games and all sorts of things using AI. So it uses Claude 3.5 Sonnet under the hood, but it basically does a really cool, like it's completely free. Anyone can try it. You just have to sign up and you can build all sorts of things. So just, this is one example. This is not something that I built. Someone else built it. It's basically a game like a cannonball game or like a, a tennis ball game and there's another one here you can there's a someone built a gift generator so for example let me draw something let me draw a circle you add a frame and uh, let me complete that frame you create a gif and it's a some someone literally built that using ai there's another one where you can drive around so let me just click on that and yeah you can literally drive around it's a full th full-on 3d game you just just completely generated by AI. There's another one. It's a roller coaster. Um, resume ride. You can change the sky, change the sky to the background, and then you can generate a new track. Yeah, let's begin the ride again. And then there's another one someone built as a newphoric, uh, new new morphic uh, timer uh, alarm setter, um, which looks really cool. And you can click on that. It doesn't work. And then, yeah, um, so I want to see if I can build anything today. And uh, let's, so what's really cool is you can uh, type a prompt or you can actually type in a web address and it builds it for you. So i give you an example. Let me type in youtube.com and watch it just build youtube.com. And I'll show you, I'll show you guys something really, really cool. So let this build, uh, just give it a second. And there you have it. You have a full on YouTube.com. Obviously, it didn't finish up. It didn't finish the rest. But here's what you can do. So, for example, you go you go on the, the this URL section here, and you can ask a follow up prompt to the original prompt. So I can be like, add a dark mode button at the top, and if clicked, apply dark mode, and let that finish. And now you have dark mode. So let's try to see if that works. Click on dark mode, turns dark. Click on light mode, it turns light. Uh, let's do something else. Can you change the design to reflect the following image? And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go to youtube.com and I'm just gonna go to trending and I'm just gonna take a screenshot of this. Actually, let me just scroll down a little bit. Um, yeah, so I'm, I'm gonna take a screenshot of this. I'm gonna copy that. Go back here. I'm just gonna paste this image. And it pasted this image. Sorry, one sec. Enter. Let's see what happens now. It should, it's loading up. Now you have a fully fleshed YouTube video or YouTube channel, like a page, reflecting the the screenshot that I just gave it. You have subscriptions, which, which I had, and then you have this thing. You have these links, see all. Eminem Toby, I can't remember if that was there in the first image. Click on subscriptions, it's not working. But the fact that it was able to mimic it is still pretty, pretty crazy. Let's try something else. I'm gonna go back home and I'm gonna uh, ask it to create an Excel app which allows the user to add formulas. And so let's see what that does. So now it built some type of Excel application. Um, I'm gonna be like, hey, equals seven times seven. Let's see if that works. And the formula works. Uh, I can add rows, I can add columns, um, make it look like the following. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna actually give it a screenshot of Excel. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna take a screenshot of this. It's actually Google Sheets. And I'm gonna take a copy of that and I'll just paste it there. Let me see if that works. I'm just gonna paste that and enter and let's see what happens now. Now it fully it built in a Google Sheets replicate replicated version. Uh, I want to see if this actually works. Equals seven times seven, and uh, do I enter? Click on enter, and it works. You have a fully fleshed out Google Sheets replica, which is insane. I want to try something else. Let's go back home and let's try this. Create a Windows XP uh, OS with an interactive start menu and a trash bin. So let's see what that does. So it gave me some type of OS. Uh, there's a start menu, it doesn't actually work. Uh, the recycling bin 
the the actual image doesn't look so what i'm going to do is make the desktop background like windows xp give a trash uh trash can uh logo for the uh trash bin and make the star button interactive and let me see what that does so it did something there it changed the background to the windows xp i want to click on start see if that actually works um so the start one it does oh it does work so you have my computer you have my documents i wonder if i double click it it's not working uh and the recycling bin work, work so i mean that worked so let's try something else let's go back to home and I want it to replicate Fiverr.com. And so Fiverr.com is basically a marketplace where you can hire people to do various different services and tasks. So let's see what that does. So it built something there. It built Fiverr.com and you have these things that aren't inter interactive. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go Fiverr.com actually, and I'm gonna take a full page screenshot. So let me scroll down all the way to the bottom and I'm gonna take a full page screenshot and then capture page. And I should have a, I should be able to copy it and try that again. Where are you? If for some reason that's not working, let me try that again. Okay, so that time it worked. I'm gonna go back and I'm gonna say, can you make the page look like, and I'm just gonna paste that in. So I got a full page screenshot and let's see what that does. And I would try to replicate as much as I can. So you have the menu and you scroll down just a little bit and obviously it didn't fully replicate it. So if I scroll down, it's definitely not the same thing, but let's try something else. Go back home again. Let's try this. I'm gonna, so I frequent uh, the marketing subreddit. So I wanna see if we can replicate a version of Reddit where it's like marketing specific. And so it was able to replicate some type of Reddit page for marketing. And you can see, let's see if that works. If I click on it, it goes to that page itself. And I think what it does now is it's gonna actually try to generate a page of what it thinks Reddit marketing posts, TikTok strategies will look like. And you have an actual post that it's actually generating. So effective TikTok marketing strategies and actually build a TikTok strategy. And then you have these fake comments with upvotes and everything. That's insane. Let's go back. So another one, let's do uh, uh, make Twitter, but all the users are demons. So imagine like a world of demons in another dimension. Let's see how that looks like. And and now we have Hellfire Social, which is Twitter for demons. And you can type things in. Hey, devils, how is it going? And I'm gonna unleash hell. And you have there, I'm gonna see if that works. Ignite, repost, curse, I guess it doesn't work. This is my avatar and you have Lord of Sloth. Just woke up from a 100 year, 100 year nap. What did I miss? Lazy Demon, Hellfire, reposted. Uh, Mother of Demons, new soul corruption technique just dropped. Check out my only fiends for the exclusive tutorial. Okay, what I'm gonna do is, can you add the following sidebars? And I'm gonna go to Twitter and I'm gonna copy this. And I wanna paste that in here. I'm gonna go back here again, and I'm gonna copy this. And I'm gonna paste that there. And I wanna see if it can actually add the, the sidebars to both sides. So let's see what that turns out. So now you have a sidebar. You have, remember, Twitter has a sidebar home, and you have trending. Go back here, trending in hell. Uh, autumn da damnation, soul harvest, uh, eternal torment, Infernal Equinox. And I don't know if this works, actually. I'm gonna press enter. Don't think that would actually work. And then you have the left side, Underworld, Hellscape, Summon, Soul Whispers, D Demonic Insight, Unleash Hell. Click on that. That doesn't work. So that's pretty crazy. Um, I wonder what else I can add here. Okay, I'm gonna be like, if posted using Unleash Hell button, a demon, uh, creature shows up or something. So let's see, let's see if that works. Okay, so it regenerated the whole page. Instead of saying unleash hell, it says post tweet. Let me try, how's it going? Devlers, and let me post a tweet. I guess that didn't work. Oh, maybe if I click on this one, unleash hell, nothing actually happens. 
But I guess that doesn't happen. Let's try something else. Let's go back home. And I'm gonna create a game. So create create a 3D driving game where the car has three positions as, in, as it goes forward, left, middle, and right. And there are coins where, where if collected, you get more points. And obstacles are meant to be avoided. If hit, you, you lose points. So let's see if it can do something like that. So it definitely built something. So it definitely did something there. So you got the game here working. Let me see if that if I can move it. You can move it, you can collect the coins and you can see my score going up. And then if I hit that, I lose 500 points. So I lose a game. Let me try something else. Let me add a space background and make the car look like a Ferrari, make the road look like a road in the jungle. And I wanna add trees uh, in the background. So I guess, yeah, I mean, I thought it was unlimited, but I guess not, it's not, it's not unlimited. The model rate is limited. So unfortunately I can't get to the next part, but what we can do is just look at other creations that other people have done. So I'm just looking to see any good examples. Let me open up this one and uh, let's open up something else. Let's open up this one as well. And uh, let's open up this one as well. Let's try that. So here we got a 3D C simulator, use mouse to control camera and bottom right panel for adjustments. So I can move the camera. So someone actually built this, which is insane. Let me move it around. You got the sunset. Can I change the sky? Let's do the sky elevation. So, wow, that is amazing. You can change the daytime. The water looks realistic. I wonder how they did this. Um, sun, azimuth, which I don't know what that means. Let's go here change right there damn that's, that's insane scene exposure that is so crazy let's do the next one you have used wasc to move mouse to look around click to toggle pointer lock so okay so you can like literally move around here wow this is so crazy i can move around here can i can i fly up i am flying up damn that is crazy let me move up a little bit to the clouds. Wow. I'm flying, can I turn around? Yeah, that is crazy. Let's try um, this one. Click to throw a ball, press R to reset the party. So I'm just hitting the ball here. Did people actually make something like this? That's like, it, it, if people made this, this is crazy. I'm just skeptical because it's pretty insane. Let's try the next one. You have a Minecraft classic inspired game. I've never actually played Mine Minecraft, so I don't really know how this is gonna be. I can move around. Like, did people actually make this? Damn. Let's go to the next one. Engage warp. Okay, can I change this? Disengage warp, stop. Okay, let's go to the next one. You got a, a 3D um, driving game again. So a lot of these driving games, which is really cool. Move around, see if that has anything. Okay, let me see if I hit that, if anything happens. Okay, it toggled. Let's try the next one. So you have a Mac OS, um, OS X, and you can actually click on these and they work. I'm just trying to understand if this is something people actually made or not. Like This is crazy. Click on that, X. Or if, yeah, this is crazy. I'm <clears throat> I'm just trying to understand if this is like, um, if if this is a, a iframe or something like, okay, let's see here, photos, double click on that, not working. Like these are legitimate photos that people, yeah, I don't know. Let's click on that. Yeah, um, that's crazy. That's crazy. I definitely, everyone should check this out. Try to make something yourself and see if there's anything interesting. Like this is just crazy. So basically what it's doing is it's using uh, Sonnet 3.5 under the hood. So technically you can build this with inner, um, within artifacts, within Claude AI, if you go to the website, but they must be doing something under the hood for it to be able to do something like this. It's, from my experience, I made, I made a video recently on this where I built uh, a, f a Flappy Bird game. I built a fighter game off Claude 3.5 Sonnet, but this takes it to the next level where you can, it, it just, the output looks way, way better. So yeah, I mean, okay, I, this, this is a really cool one as well. Let's click on that. You have a 3D donut, which you can look around this is crazy. 
down. Can I change the color? You can change the color. So here, look at that. You can change the color, displacement, how big it is, how bright it is, roughness. Damn, that's so crazy. Resolution, 4x, 8x, auto rotate. Okay. You can see the reflections as well. Man, I really need to do some research. If, if anyone knows if this is legit, please leave it down in the comment section below. I will try to make another video seeing if I can build any of one of these ones because the ones I built were, okay, whatever, but these ones are crazy. Anyways, I'm going to stop it there and I, I want everyone to just go to the website and check it out and see for themselves. Like, this is insane. Yeah. Okay, I'm going to stop it here and um, I guess until, until I see you guys next time, take care. Bye.